In today's video, we're going to tie a little fly called the Military Mayfly, developed by Hogan Brown. We're going to start off with the size 16 Daiichi 1560 nymph hook, and also a small root beer glass bead. This fly can be tied in several different colors, olives, blacks. Uh, we're tying it today in kind of like a PMD just a standard mayfly color which is kind of on the brown spectrum so we're first thing we're going to do is tie in the tail and for this we're going to use a barred feather so you can use like a, a mallard feather a teal feather wood duck feather any of those feathers would do the trick we're just looking for kind of some buggy barred segmentation to it I just clip off a few of the tips there so that they're nice and even and we're going to tie this in so that it's about the length of the straight portion of the shank of the hook we're just going to lash it to the top of the shank of the hook and wrap back down the bend here then I'll spiral my thread forward the next step is to tie in the flash so for this I'm going to use a piece of medium mirage kind of like flashaboo tinsel stuff you're just looking for that nice pearlescent flash look and I'm going to tie this right on the top of the shank of the hook so that it's centered and I'm going to take my thread just a couple spirals forward and we're going to tie in our wire which is going to hold this flash in place. I'm just going to tie this along the side of the shank of the hook. I'm just going to capture it. And I want to make sure that I don't tie it in all the way at the back of the hook. And then I'm going to spiral my thread forward here and you can see I'm trying to make a nice smooth tapered body. Then I'm going to just hang my thread about two-thirds of the way forward. Now the reason I didn't want to take that wire all the way to the back is because when I pull this flash forward, my first wrap is going to capture it right on top of the shank of the hook. If I went all the way back to the back, my first wrap of wire would be all the way at the tail. So that's the reason that we did that. And I want to make sure that I center this flash right in the middle on top of the shank of the hook. Then I'm just going to wrap my wire forward trying to do so with as even of wraps as possible. And I can see from your view that they're not so even so let's try this again. From my view on my side they look perfect but I looked up at the camera they weren't on your side so let's try this again. Once you get this started, this first wrap is the one that's not wanting to cooperate with me. Well, that's a little better. Then I can capture both the wire and that flashaboo with my thread. And I can just spiral the wire out of there. I'm going to trim that tinsel out of the way. Now we're ready to tie in the large piece of the casing. This is going to be a large piece of that tinsel. Same stuff, just in a different size. We're going to tie this right on top of the thorax. Also center it just as we did the the body flash there. And I want to take this about a third of the way back from the bead. 
just a little bit less than halfway. Now we're ready to tie in the thorax material, which is just some brown Antron dubbing. And again, if you're tying this in an olive color, you can use basically olive thread, olive wire, olive dubbing, or you can two-tone it. You could do an olive body with this brown dubbing. You can really kind of do whatever you want with this fly. You can tie this fly in purple, some weird colors. The basic foundation of this fly is really fishy, really buggy, so you can really mix up the colors and customize, do whatever you want. There we are. There's my little thorax. Got a few scragglies there. You can just pull those out of there. Now we can tie in the legs. Now for this, you can use a brown crystal flash, gold crystal flash for using all the variations. Of course, you can use the green and all the variations. For this one, I kind of like the looks of this copper color. Kind of goes with my brown PMD theme. So basically, I'm just going to tie these in with an X pattern right up here at the head of the hook. Just a couple of well-placed X wraps is all it really takes. Then I'm going to take my tinsel, pull it forward, I'll kind of pull those legs back as well. I'm going to capture that tinsel with just two real tight wraps. Then we can whip finish here. Just a few turns with the whip finish. This fly, you really got to be careful not to overdo it with your thread wraps. And of course, with this one, you would super glue the wraps as well. Now, when he trims his tinsel here, he trims it about the, the length of the bead. That helps it from basically coming off. Also kind of gives it a little bit of a mayfly head. And we trim our legs. I like to trim them about the half length of the body here. Just enough so you get a couple little stubble legs sticking out from each side. Just like that. And that is the Hogan Military Mayfly. Great little mayfly pattern. This is the PMD color. I've got a green one actually sitting here that I tied earlier. That's a little green variation. But great little fly called the Military Mayfly.